Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share workspace projects out to your organization. Project sharing is just one of the many ways that you can democratize data and insights throughout the organization. When you're ready to share your project, simply go to the Share menu and click Share Project. Within project sharing, you have the opportunity to add your recipients to one of three project roles. The roles are Edit, Duplicate, and View, and these roles are independent of any user permission, such as admin or non-admin rights. To add somebody to each of these roles, you simply type in their username, or you can add in a group of users as well. Groups are denoted by the people icon on the right here, and you can hover over it to see who is in the group. If you're a non-admin, you can share to groups, and the groups available to you are the ones that you are a part of. Now, if I've put somebody in the can edit group, they will get an experience that is similar to owning the project. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I've opened up a project that was shared to me as an editor, and I can do anything that an owner could do. Most notably, I can save over the project, so I can collaborate with the owner of this project. And I can also modify the share list as well as the curation applied. And this is in addition to anything else the owner could do. The can edit role is a great role to give to colleagues that you want to collaborate on projects with. Or maybe if you're leaving the office and you want them to continue to work on the project while you're out, you can give them can edit. Now you can also add people to the can duplicate group. And this will give them a lot of project control, but it won't allow them to save. It's the primary difference between the edit and the duplicate group. Duplicate is most similar to the non-admin experience today when a project is shared to them. They can only save as to create their own versions of the project. Now, if I move the Jen Lasser user to the can duplicate group, notice it'll be removed from can edit. A user can only be in one group at any point in time. And if I belonged to this group here at the top, as well as represented as an individual user, I'll always get the highest level of access to the project that the owner has granted me. So let's take a look at the, the duplicate experience. I've opened up a project here that was just shared to me as a duplicator, and I have full control over the project to interact with it. I have the left rail available to me. I can change report suites. The main difference here is I cannot save. I can only save as. The final role is can view. So if I put a user in this role, they will get a limited experience when they open up the project. I've opened up a project here where I was given view access. Right off the bat, you'll notice that the left rail is gone. This view is meant to give the user a more controlled way to interact with the project and uh, does not allow them to make any changes that will significantly change the data or the story being told. So the report suite, the date range, those are all disabled and the left rail is gone. The main interactions that are enabled for viewers are drop downs at the top so that the owner or editor of the project can build in controlled interactions. So the viewer can interact with these and it will change the data based on the selection made. There's some other interactions that are enabled such as hovering so they can explore a bit further and certain interactions like exploring different components to use in the project. Once you've placed your recipients in one of the roles, there's a few other options that you have available to you before you click share on the project. You can get a link to the project if you'd like, and when the recipient receives that link, they'll get the experience that you've given to them in one of the roles. A couple settings that can be applied, share embedded components. This allows you to share any created components such as segments or calculated metrics used in the project directly with the users that are receiving it. Now, this is a one-time action at the time that you share. So any additional components added to the project later, you'll want to reshare and check that box again. Additionally, you can set a project as a landing page for recipients if you are an administrator in Adobe Analytics. What this will do is when the person logs into Adobe Analytics, it will make this project the thing that they see first. Now, the two call to actions you have available to you are to simply share the project or you can curate and share the project instead. Curation will simplify what's available in the left rail, sort of like you see here on the left, 
and we will automatically include any components used in the project before we share it out. At any point, if you choose Curate and Share and you want to make modifications, you can simply go to Share Curate Project and adjust the components that are included or excluded in the left rail. One last thing I wanted to leave you with, in the Share Project modal, if you have any questions about what each of these roles or different settings do, you can always click the question mark info up here at the top and we explain each of those roles, settings, and also link out to our rich documentation. This has been an overview of project sharing and analysis workspace. Use project sharing to democratize data and insights to other users in your organization so they can make data-driven decisions.